M5, not M6. Just trust me, it's an M5. That was close.
All right, guys, here it is. Um, mostly final assembly right here. Um, you know, we got, you know, ball screws, linear rails on, you got the gantry on, so things are looking pretty good. I, I have a print going behind me here. I'm actually printing the uh, cable chain mounts that K Jordan and Discord uh, designed. So these will be going behind the uh, uh, steel tubing to hold the cable chain. So we'll get that figured out at some point. But yeah, this is it. So. Um, after this here, I'm going to start working on electronics probably and get things going there. Still still plenty to do here, but um, things went together pretty well. So I do want to mention one thing on the X-axis here. I, I kind of talked about it in the uh, montage a little bit, but the uh, assembly guide talks about aligning the, uh, the, the rails centering them on the gantry and there are a couple notes in the assembly guide I think it's pretty cool we can leave public notes in there but um, the rails are not going to be centered on the x-axis here so I did move my motor all the way up to the uh, edge of the tube here so and I do have to put on my my uh, coupling nut there so I'll get that added at some point and tighten these down apparently so but the, uh, the x-axis will kind of be for your own needs. You know, you'll kind of just build it to uh, fit your own build. Um, some guys will make a slightly wider x-axis. In hindsight, I probably should have done that because that'll make cable chain a little bit easier to mount. Um, the uh, cable chain parts that are included here, uh, fit. they're meant to fit the wider x-axis. So. Just something to keep in mind, you will have to space things for your own build depending on your uh, your own x-axis. Also, um, when, if you do get your uh, bearings on here, this is, this is the, uh, the hose to my grease gun that I got. I would get these bearings greased as soon as you can. I'm not able, I am able to get a, um, my hose on this zerk here. However, these zerks on the z-axis are not, uh, I'm not able to reach them here, at least not with my uh, my, my fitting here, so I would get these greased as soon as you can. I've been told it's just one pump from the grease gun will do it, but uh, you know, use your own judgment there. So I will have to take this apart here at some point, which is fine. I've been taking this apart like seven times now, but that is something that I want to I want to mention for you guys. Uh, one other thing I'll talk about real quick about these bearings is um, I have self-aligned the wiper here, so the red part. And once the uh, bearing is mounted on the rail, you can just loosen these two side screws and then um, the, the zerk or the uh, bolt up top. And then that will, once you loosen it, it'll self align it to the rail and then you can just tighten it back down right away. So um, my bottom one is still rubbing on the Z axis. So I will have to uh, get that uh, straightened out. So uh, that is gonna do it for this video, guys. It is on the longer side, so I think we're just gonna cut it off now. Uh, I am gonna get going on the electronics here, so stay tuned for an electronics update, maybe in a week or two. Uh, we got some holiday stuff going on here recently, so uh, we'll see what my schedule's looking like, but you know, I wanna get this thing done as soon as we can. I am still waiting on my VFD cable, so that'll be here hopefully within a week or so, but um, we'll go ahead and uh, call it good on this one and uh, feel free to subscribe if you want and we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching